Hi everyone, my name is Shikin. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Last few weeks, we started doing BioCrop weekly. As people also interested in Minecraft, we will make another weekly episode of Minecraft Farming. This series will consist of 10 different episodes and now you're watching the first episode. The aquaculture industry has been started more than a decade. Even Food and Agriculture Organization FAO stated that the future growth of the fishery sector will come mainly from aquaculture. According to FAO, there are about 580 aquatic species that are currently farmed all over the world, including freshwater, brackish and marine species. You might often hear people talking about farming fish and shrimp. How about mud crab farming? Have you heard about this before? In this episode, we will talk about why you should venture in mud crab farming. The first reason is the high value of the commodity. Mud crab is considered as expensive because of its excellent mixed texture. Good quality mud crab often have their claw and body full of meat resulting in a satisfying experience for the consumer. Mud crab yield about 25% meat, largely from the front claw, sweet flesh that has a slightly stronger flavor and firmer texture than other crab. Good nutritional value also contributes to this high value. For every 100 gram of mud crab meat, there are 58 mg cholesterol, 0.9 gram total fat, EPA omega-3 at 137 mg, DHA omega-3 at 90 mg, and AA omega-6 at 86 mg. Mud crab with a higher level of omega-3 fatty acid was particularly important as it will provide better egg quality. Some of our clients, they prefer to buy a female crab full of egg. However, the female crab not often being caught due to the sustainability of the resource. Second reason is that the wild population of the mud crab already started to decline. High demand of the mud crab has caused intensive fishing for this resource and tended to threaten their sustainability. A study that conducted in Kendari Bay, Indonesia has proved that the exploitation rate of mud crab already exceeded the optimum level in 2018. Can you imagine in few years later what will happen if this over exploitation continue? Some other study also reported decreased population of mud crab from Philippines. This issue might come from the act of cutting the mangrove trees and regular extraction of all sizes of mud crab. So, as a public, we can help to sustain our resources by farming and grow the crab ourselves. The third reason is mud crab has high demand in Southeast Asia. At the moment, the bulk of the mud crab are being exported to East Asia like Hong Kong, China, Taiwan, Japan and Korea. However, while living standards continue to improve in Southeast Asia, there will be more demand for the product in the domestic market which is likely to increase the global crab price. This is particularly true in countries in Indonesia and Vietnam where that has been a rising domestic demand in Jakarta and Ho Chi Minh City. In Southeast Asia, aside from the live mud crab trade, there is also a market for soft shell crab. The next reason is crab is more disease resistant than shrimp. White spot syndrome virus, WSSB, is the world more serious disease to all species of cultivated shrimp. It is well known to infect many other crustacean species that can act as the carriers. Among these carriers, mud crab has been considered to be a particularly dangerous threat to shrimp farm because they are highly tolerant of this virus. 
the crab can remain infected for a long time. Another study also found out that after exposing the mud crab to vibrio species, their survival rate was at 65 to 80%, which is considered as quite high. This justify that the mud crab has high disease resistance and has a low potential of mass mortality in the farming. The last reason is the acceptable period of the culture cycle. Harvest of mud crab can be done after the period of 3 to 8 months of stocking juvenile crab. During the harvesting period, the mud crab should be in the size of 400 to 500 gram size. It also depends on what crab stage or method of farming that you are applying to your farm. You can either choose to grow out or crab fattening method. Giving an example, like us, we do crab fattening method. It only takes 14 to 60 days of the water crab to gain full meat crab. Sometimes, the fattening process might be longer due to the water quality and health of the crab. To summarize, there are 5 reasons why you should venture into mud crab farming. First is the high value commodity. Second is the decline of mud crab population. Third is high demand in Southeast Asia. Fourth is their disease resistant ability. And lastly, an acceptable period of culture cycle. So, throughout this episode, you would probably have in mind whether the mud crab farming is interesting or not. What do you think? Tell us your opinion or if you have any question, feel free to drop in the comment section. Next episode, we will share with you on the biology of mud crab. Do subscribe to our channel to get notification on the next episode. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next episode.